Hello guys, let's talk about the pH of buffer solutions. In order to figure out what is the pH of these solutions, we are going to use the henderson hasselbalch equation. This relates the pH of an aqueous solution of an acid to the acid dissociation constant. This is actually derived from the definition of the acid dissociation constant. We are not going to go into details here, I'm just going to show you the formula. So the pH equals to the pKa, which is the acid dissociation constant, plus the log of the concentration of the base divided by the concentration of the acid. The pKa here equals to the negative log of the Ka, similarly as the pH equals to the negative log of the H plus concentration. And the acid and base concentrations refer to the equilibrium concentrations of the conjugate acid-base pair. Now, interestingly, when the acid concentration equals to the base concentration, then the pH will simply equal to the pKa because the log of 1 equals to 0. Now, we generally can make the assumption that the initial concentrations of the acid and the base components of the buffer can be used in this equation. This assumption becomes invalid when you have highly diluted solutions on the order of 10 to the negative 5 mole per liter or lower. So be careful with that. All right, let's do an example. Let's figure out what is the pH of a buffer solution that is 0.12 mole per liter in hydrofluoric acid and 0.10 mole per liter in sodium fluoride. And we are given the Ka with hydrofluoric acid. So I'm just going to use the henderson hasselbalch equation and plug in all my numbers that are given. So I said that the pKa is simply the negative log of my K sub A, the acid dissociation constant, which is in this case 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 4. And then I have to add to it the log of the base and the acid concentration. So in this case, my acid is the hydrofluoric acid, HF, and the base is going to be the fluoride ion. And because sodium fluoride is a strong electrolyte, it completely dissociates in aqueous solutions. So its concentration will equal to the concentration of the fluoride ions. So F minus concentration. All right, so let's just plug in the values. The F minus concentration is 0 0.10 divided by 0 0.12. And if you do this calculation, you are going to get 3.10 as the pH of the buffer solution. All right. I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.